Hi, my name is Norman Meir, and I want to show you one of the products that here at Best Incorporated that we do sell. It is a gold plating repair kit. So I want to go with over you with you what you would receive if you were to order this product from Best Incorporated. First thing that you would see when you open it up is the power supply all the way here to the right, which is adjustable with different voltages. Now the voltage that I normally work with is around uh, 4.5 uh, volts. And, uh, and um, you would adjust it accordingly to get a good plating going on. You have the cables, positive and negative. You got a wand right there. You got Scott's transparent tape, 600, in accordance with TM650 of the IPC standards. You have a two ounce container of ceramic oxide, two ounces of nickel plating, and you got 24 karat gold down here. Okay, what you would do is plate it with this for, you'd clean up the area, then you would plate it with nickel, then you would use the gold, then you would end up cleaning it and brushing it up and shining it up with the serenium oxide. Okay, we have several applicators that you could utilize. You have an ultra fine for very small areas medium for larger areas and we have an applicator sleeve that you use in accordance with the uh, plating bit. Now this would go this would attach actually something like this. You would actually stick it inside the applicator so it would look something like that. Okay now let's see how all this works together shall we? Okay, you have your power supply with different voltages right here, so you adjust it accordingly. Like I said, I work with about 4.5. I have gone up to 7.5 some, for some areas. And it just depends on you. Start low and work your way through it. Okay, and you have your power supply adapter right. You got your end of your cord right here. Now, where does this attach to? You take this and you plug it into there just like that. It's all you have to do. Nothing more than that. Undo. So these are free for you to work. This is just where you're going to actually touch it to a board or whatever. This other end, you're actually going to take the wand, take this end, not the silver end. This is where you're going to put your applicators into. So you're going to just slide it into it, just something like that. That's all you have to do. Then you just do whichever applicator you want. Now what I do with my applicators, I cut about three-eighths of an inch off and brings it closer and that we get the current flowing through. If not, it's very long like that, okay? So then what you would do after that, you would put it in starting off with a nickel, okay? And since this is a brand new applicator, you won't get good connection to the metal area right here. So current won't flow well. So what you got to do is between three to five minutes is keep it in the nickel plating right here. Once you've got that done and it's plating very well, it'll, it'll look like it's foaming up just a little bit. Okay, once you've got that done, you're going to clean the area. Then you're going to take out this applicator right here and what I do is use another one use a smaller one for my gold plating just slide it right in just as easy as that then again I put it in the gold plating now from three to five minutes till it's fully saturated so I make a good connection right here with the metal and my applicator then I just go in and plate so first thing we got to do is remove the solder so I'm going to move my wands and my tips out of the way. There we go. Let's move this more into the center so you can see it a little bit easier what I'm going to do. So first thing I want to do is remove that solder. I've got a number two solder wick. I have flux I'm applying because I want to remove all that off. I'm going to be utilizing a large hoof tip. Come down here right where it's at. 
gently, don't press down because you could damage your pads lifting them or anything else. Clean off my tip, I want to remove some of that solder wick off there and come back in here and repair the other, remove from the other pads, just like so. Straight down and straight up is always the best way. You can see it wicking off into there. Next thing you want to do is utilizing a finger is make sure they're nice and flat, and they are. So now I'm going to turn off, add solder to the end of my tip, turn off my iron. I'm going to be using some isopropyl alcohol to remove the flux, just like this. Going in there making sure it's nice and clean that there's no flux contamination. If I have to, I can use an acid brush, getting them nice and clean. Next thing I'm going to be utilizing is some deionized water. Come in here, clean it up nice and neat. Okay, clean it up nice and neat, just like you're seeing. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get installed into my one applicator here. I'm going to install my tip. And you want to push it and seat it all the way in, just like so. Okay, then I'm going to put it into the nickel plating. That's what you're going to utilize first. Now, if you've never utilized them before and they're brand new, what you want to do is to put it into the tip and put it into the nickel for about three to five minutes. So that way you make a good electrical connection between the applicator and the tip itself. Next thing I'm going to do is come down in here using my other tip and I'm going to go and apply nickel. Now you can see really close up that it is going on. It's kind of hard to see with this. It's just going back and forth gently applying it. Go to the keep doing one right after the other like so. And what this actually does a little bit, it foams up. You can do little circular motions if you want, however you want to do it. Now you see me doing it on these and you're like, yeah, it's really happening. So what I'll do is I'll come down here and do this one. Look at the difference in the color immediately, right? Okay, now you might have to move this down a little bit so you can get right where you were at. So now they've got all that done. Next thing you do is you're going to take out that applicator and you're going to put your gold plating applicator in. Slide it all the way down too, but before you can do that, again, use some deionized water and come in here and clean up these pad sites, just like so, because you don't want any cross-contamination or chemical issues. Now I'm opening up my gold. Now you got to be very careful with these. After every item of these chemicals, you need to put the lids back on because these are hazardous chemicals, especially the gold that has cyanide. I have a respirator on, eye protection, I've got rubber gloves on. And again, I'm saturating it in there, again, three to five minutes if it is brand new. Then you're gonna come out, again, just like we did before. And I'm gonna start on this one down here, look at that. Just gently doing it. And you can see where there's tiny little bubbles forming up. That is actually it working. Remember, this is electroplating, so you got positive and negative charges. Look at that, doesn't it look nice already? Just back and forth gently. You don't need to press down on it really hard. It'll do its job. Circular motions or back and forth, whichever way you would like to do it. But you gotta make sure you completely make contact with the two tips, because if they don't make contact, here, just like this, it's not gonna do anything. Look at that. Look at that, not doing anything. But you bring them together, it's a positive and negative charge that is creating this uh, plating to go on. So here we go, almost done. Okay, got one last one here, very easy to do, like I was saying. Circular motions, gentle. If you need to add more nickel or gold to your tip, go ahead and redip it. Circular motions again, round and around, back and forth. If you want to come back here and make sure you get a better golding, okay, that is fine. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Wow.
There's no reason to rush the process here. Remember, your company has already manufactured the board, so that's the least of your worries. Your worry is making sure that you do this correctly. Okay, now that we've got that done, okay, putting my lid back in my container. Again, next thing I'm going to do is deionized water. Come in here and clean these up really well, just like so. And then the next thing you're going to use is a powder. Okay, now you can use a cotton swab if you want and uh, put a little alcohol on it or something so it'll adhere to it. Or uh, like I'm getting ready to do, I'm just using a Kim wipe because you don't have everything all the time. So I'm putting a little bit of water on it, just like so. And then I'm dipping it into this powder stuff. It's like a rouge. And what you want to do is you come in here in circular motion. What you're doing is you're smoothing it out, making it look nice and pretty. I know it's kind of hard with what I'm doing here because of my gloves and this auto focusing. Okay, now that you've got that done, again, next thing you want to do is close up the lid on the powder so you don't drop it because then you'd have to order more and you know your customers you know your company doesn't like to to order new order more materials they just look at you and like what did you do wrong right okay nice and clean just like that and then the last and final test that you got to do in accordance with uh, TM650 is a tape pull test okay and all you do is you're going to take the tape Put it down over the area, just like so. Rub it, just like that. And take your tape off and look to see if you've got any gold flakes. Let's see. All I do is see on there, I thought it was gold flakes, but actually it's the chemical, this powder stuff underneath here that's what you're seeing. Okay. So now we've got it all done, and it looks really nice, and you are done, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video of how to. My name is Norman Meir. I work for Best Incorporated. Thank you, and have a nice day.